Today marks two years since George Floyd was killed by Minneapolis police officers, and with that, two years since the widespread demonstrations in Portland that followed. Now to Jamie Seymour, joining us live with a look at the rally held in downtown Portland tonight in remembrance of George Floyd. Jamie? Yeah, tonight it started off in Pioneer Courthouse Square as some people doing posters and flowers to remember George Floyd. Um, a couple hours later, a group of about 50 to 60 people dressed all in black, about wearing face coverings, have now marched downtown to the federal courthouse and the Justice Center. We saw them a little bit ago block a city bus in and tag it. They're now blocking traffic, as you can see, on 3rd Avenue by the courthouse. They've been chanting Black Lives Matter, George Floyd, and no justice, no peace. Now, earlier, one local social justice leader at the heart of those early demonstrations two years ago says there's still a lot of work to be done. It's been two years since George Floyd was murdered by a police officer in Minneapolis, and in the wake of his death, spurred protests across the country for racial and social justice and against police brutality. But some locals involved in those early movements say not enough has changed. Those things that happened before George Floyd died, when he died, and since he died um, are still happening. We still have those same inequities. We still have, um, you know, the police brutality, police violence. Floyd's death ignited months of protests in Portland, both peaceful rallies and more violent riots. Teresa Rayford, founder of the social justice organization Don't Shoot Portland, says it's important to recognize the difference between vandalism and the value of someone's life. And the fact that they can still equate um, monetary value of a building that might have words on it with the death of someone's child, um, they need to look at themselves and not us. In response to two years since Floyd's death and subsequent rallies, Portland Police Chief Chuck Lavelle said, quote, we're grateful to the many positive voices who are working to bring about lasting and meaningful change. Rayford added, while the movement has spurred equity and inclusion, the work is only just beginning. I just hope that if people are looking for answers, um, that they'll start working within the communities that have been sharing these answers forever. Again, the group from tonight's rally is mostly centered here around 3rd Avenue near the federal courthouse. Portland police announced earlier that they are also recognizing the anniversary of Floyd's death and said they joined the community in mourning. Um, they did say that they were going to be on site today, also keeping an eye on today's event. Um, we have seen a few officers out in the area um, as we continue to follow this tonight. We'll keep you posted here on air and online on coin.com. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News.